What do you make of the political climate at the moment in light of the Tea Party, in light of, I don't know, the national mood? Well, I think democracy's messy. Um, I think that, uh, you know, if, if you could remove the the influence of big bucks, it would be much more interesting. I think that we've uh, gotten to the point where there's so much money that goes into these lobbying efforts, for instance, that you can't even, uh, the United States is pretty paralyzed in terms of trying to get anything done. And, and uh, but I think everybody has the right to you know, express an opinion. Do you think that's what this is fundamentally, though? That the that what we what we perceive as grassroots sort of Tea Party campaigns are actually big money funded campaigns. Well, I think probably there are grassroots, but you, your voice can't be heard very easily compared to the candidates that have money. So if you eliminate, um, like they have in some countries, where you limit the amount of TV ads, you limit the amount of spending, which mm. is everyone's talked about for years and years and years, you could actually. I mean, we practically have, you know, a monarchy where the same <coughs> families keep running and where the same, you know, where the, uh, the corporate, uh, tr trying to break through and not be in the grasp of w corporations is really almost impossible mm. now. So then you get p two parties which basically have the same interests all the time. And there are certain conversations that, aren't, that can't be had because the money behind them is, yeah. is so big. Yeah. Speaking of which, we may as well go to the issue of guns and the NRA and the gun lobby. You, you tweeted out uh, the following, shame on you, Senator Reid. The right thing to do could not be more clear. Man up. And then you added his contact details. What do you make of the gun debate? I'm flabbergasted. I mean, this is a good example of uh, of money and uh, lobbying. Uh, I mean, the fact that um, you you know it, it it you have to take a test and you do have to do so many things to drive a car and you don't have to you can get a gun so easily is just insane. I mean, the Second Amendment was talking about muskets, muskets. You know, you have to put the mm. bullet in. They don't have. Right, well, what are arms? I mean, arms are nuclear weapons or arms, right? Do we have a personal right to own nuclear weapons exactly. and aircraft carriers? And if you're, for instance, I just worked in Canada, you, you not only have to go, because Canada has as many guns as we do, but they don't have the kind of violence that we have in the, in the United States. You need a lockbox. It has two locks. Anybody in that house also has a background check, so you can't have a mentally disturbed kid using his mother's guns. You can't, uh, you know, everybody is investigated. It's a slow process. And it doesn't, I don't understand the leap between registering guns and the, and the United States coming in to take them away from you? I mean, seriously? Well, I mean, surely it just comes from a, some paranoid delusional place where it's always only a slippery slope argument, right? But they'll send a drone right? in yeah, before well, they're going right, to send exactly. a, you Also, know, we're not going to be able to take up arms against, against the United States military. It's the United States no. military. I mean, if you really think that with your little, even your semi-automatic, you're going to not get picked up if the government, and besides the fact, don't you elect the government? Yeah. I mean, so aren't you the government of uh, this Your country? naive belief in democracy yeah. is so quaint to the Tea Party I, it extremists. Is, yeah.